Hey guys, welcome to the episode of Friday Night Game Night. You're Woody. You're Mike. That's right. And obviously, we I wanted to have the Sega intro in there because I love the Sega intro. Mm -hmm. And as you can probably tell, we're pl playing Sonic Frontiers. On the PlayStation 5. Actually, this is your controller. It's our first PS5 game. Yeah, that we're doing on this. You know, try to keep it a little uh, up to date. Yeah, you want to go to... Uh, we'll do it during the game, just so I want to show everyone anyway. Mm -hmm. We'll do easy for you, fine folks. Yeah, yeah. We just I picked high speed too. Me too. Yeah. I, I don't know what the difference is. I got this game on the Series X, so I haven't really gotten to it because I'm still going through Dark Gotham Nights right now, which is actually it's picking up steam. I like it. It's all right. Hopefully, Santa Claus is getting that for me for Christmas. Now, I purposely didn't watch these cutscenes because I thought to myself, "Well, we'll be recording, so we might actually watch these cutscenes." Yeah. Are they super long? Not really. Are they like Sonic Goes Six long? Oh God, no. Yeah. You know, someday, we're probably going to have to do that game for the show. We've, I'm down for that. All I'm right. sure we can find it somewhere. Oh, I got both I got both the 360 and the PS3 copy of it. Shway. Yeah. You got to cover all the bases. I want to get it. I used to have it on the 360. That shit the bed. Then I never got it back because it was garbage, but I want to give it a good proper try. I'd say it's Sonic Adventure long, maybe. You guys already see Yeah, this. Robotics oh, Evil. Yeah. Again. Sonic's just standing on top of the freaking thing. Yep, not getting blown off. I'll just stand here! I'll just stand As much as I love <laughs> Sonic and the games, I never understood how we stay on top of that plane. You track the Chaos Emerald here, right? Whoa. It's yeah, he's got, he's got a man voice in this. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm assuming chronologically, this is the latest Sonic game, yeah. right? Yeah. They don't seem to really go wacky with timelines and shit really. like that, so... Well, apparently the Sega Genesis games are a separate... Apparently a separate timeline. But Mania is in that timeline, yes. right? Yeah. Which I thought that it took place in the past, but apparently Sonic Adventure is the new... Well, if you remember, in Sonic CD, you have present, which is the... And then you have past and future. But Sonic CD, I'm sorry, Sonic Adventure clearly takes place after Sonic 3, the numbers. So, because they just didn't do that timeline right, 2D Sonic games take place in the past. Well, I mean, technically they do because they came out. Yeah. So, what, what are we playing here, Mike? Explain to the audience what this part is. So, this is the first level that you go into. And basically, you're just going through kind of tutorial, right? Yeah. It's not telling us tutorial stuff because we played. I think the game knows that we've already played it a couple yeah. times, so it's like you know what this is, damn it. So you want to get as much as you can in your first playthrough. You can go back to these levels, but you want to get as many keys as possible because that's what unlocks the chaos emeralds. Now. Uh, the chaos. What what do the chaos emeralds serve in this game? Do you know yet, or ah, uh, you do become super sonic. And we'll, oh no, there it is. You know what? It doesn't matter because I just died. All right. And they've gone back to the infant lives thing that they do with Sonic. So. Well, is that because we're playing on easy, or uh, maybe, but. So each level has different objectives for you to do to get different keys, get an S rank, which I is really hard to do. Um, so basically you want to get as many keys as possible to unlock the shrines that held the chaos. Right. And apparently you're on this mysterious so, island called Kronos. So what happens is you go into these computer gro programs and you run through rings. Hmm. I wonder if there's any other video games on uh, top of my head. Where you go into a computer program. Oh, I will hook up Super <laughs> just to play it on here if you can find folks. Hey, soon come. We might have to play that sooner or later. Yes, uh, as uh, I, this is being released fairly soon after us playing this right now. So I hope I, we said this earlier. One of our episodes hasn't come out yet, but we do hope that everyone had a good Halloween. Yes, uh, that Halloween season's over. Right now, we're looking forward to Christmas. Mm -hmm. There's not many Thanksgiving games. No, no, there's like none of them, unfortunately. Hello? 
You have done the impossible. You have escaped cyberspace through your own power. You are the key. What are you talking about, Sky? <laughs> sure beats being called a rodent. Are you saying I can rescue my friends? Sonic seems so adult. I know, yeah. Sonic's like a dude. Does he swear in this? There was so the <laughs> Where's Shadow? We need some guns. Yeah, okay, sure. How about a little context? Hello? So it's very open world. Definitely has a Zelda feel to it. Well, you know, and I, I noticed this when I was playing Immortals. And th there's that other game that I name escapes me right now. But a lot of games are trying to get that Breath of the Wild money. Yeah. Yeah. So you had to collect these little hearts for to talk to Amy. I've gotten four cast almost so far myself, and you, I'm still trying to talk to Amy and get because you got to keep talking to her and you got to keep getting the heart pieces. I didn't even get the tails yet. Really? Yeah. Then you got to do these certain challenges like this. Pretty easy. Don't walk the map. Kind of like the shrines of the uh, tower. Well, the it looks the like they don't make it too, too complicated. That's always been a problem with these 3D Sonic games. They try they try to stick 10 pounds of trouble in a 5 pound box. And I mean, so see all the little heart pieces? We had to get those. There's a boss fight. Um, the question marks is the maps. Um, the, the, they definitely got the homing uh, attack down. Oh, yeah. I like attacking. And this, it feels good. Like, the way the sound, the feeling of the trolls. I'll skip that. We don't need to do that. Because early on, some of the homing attack was pretty weak. Like, in Sonic 4 and even some of the games in between. Really? Now, Sonic Forces gets a lot of crap. I actually enjoy Sonic Forces. And this is also an RPG, so if you see on the bottom left... Oh yeah, level one. Level one for your speed, level one for your rings, for your attack, and for your, your shit. Explain to the audience how you level up in this game. So, you have to find this... You gotta collect a bunch of... Uh, well, you, so there's leveling up, like, and there's also... So I think the ones over here is how much you can hold, like the speed and your rings. All right. And then your defense and your attack is... Um, there's like a little guy you got to find and he'll upgrade your um, attack and your shield. Like that was a hard piece I got to get. Now what do the heart pieces do? So that, you gotta collect those so you can talk to Amy so you can progress in the sword. Oh. Basically you're saving her now and then it's Tails. Apparently Knuckles and Silver are in this, we just don't know when. Silver, of course, came in in Sonic 06. Yep. And then you gotta collect the gear pieces that you fight from the, the bad guys and the bosses. So it's a lot of collecting. The music definitely seems a lot more somber in this. Yeah. When you fight the bosses, it's kind of like, you know, techno music type stuff. Well, yeah, it's Sonic. Yeah. You know what I mean? Why did I go up here? I'm not missing completely. See, that's why I'm kind of glad I'm watching you play this now. I know you found some stuff that I probably didn't. And by collecting those things and the harp, the red harp pieces like that. So there's the red harp pieces and then there's that blue shield thing for yourself. Then there's separate harp pieces that you had to collect, like love hearts, like how Amy's always have love hearts. Oh yeah. Them. So this is like that, you got Tails, I'm assuming it'll probably be something related to Tails. Yeah, like uh, pilot wings or something. Yeah, shit. something like that. I don't think it... Can you just push on that button and then... Ninja. Who's that ninja? Who's that ninja? <laughs> ninja off camera? <laughs> Gotta love that water effect, huh? You can go back to Dreamcast days. Sonic's games always been good at showing off water. So, water in the sky. 
they, they, like the Virtual Fighter games. They really like putting their effort into the sky. I do think overall this is a really good game. Uh, the graphics are amazing. The controls are great. Um, I have my only fault for it right now is just that I think it's a little tedious to have to keep plugging all those little heart pieces to Amy. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I've had no real problems with it. Yeah, the, control, the combat seems good, you know. I like all that stuff, all the hidden... You know, it gives it that sonic feel to it. You, you, you can get lost, it's very open world. It doesn't seem as structured as, like, Breath of the Wild. You know, it's, it's, it seems more structured than... Yeah. I, I feel like you can get a little lost here. Really? I mean, the music's great. Uh, it's kind of like a... Now, I wonder if you can actually be able to play... Can you play as other people in this? Not that I know of yet. <laughs> well, maybe it could come down the road. Yeah. I think Sonic fandom is just as bad as like, st the Star Wars fandom. You can never, they're never happy. And it's like, and I'm not trying to discard Sonic. You know, it's, it's a great game franchise. But is it worth getting that emotional over? No. And next is Reach Rage. I mean, Sonic look at the Zelda fighting. franchise. Zelda franchise uh, is fan base is all right. Yeah, for the most part. I don't mm. know when we're going to get that toxic. That, that's what it comes down to what game is the best game. And we all know that's our of time. <laughs> Alright, yeah. I like this move. Mm. Helps when you fight bosses and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And you get some rings. Now, if you guys haven't figured this out yet, which you probably have, and you may have not figured it out yet, I just figured it out yesterday. Hmm. So there's signs all over the island like this. These yeah. are the map signs. There's also a sign that has like a treasure chest or like a... Uh, Are you talking about like running around these things? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I have to know, Mike. Exactly how long did that take, this part take you? Yeah. Uh, the question mark signs or the... No, uh, the torch part right here. This, this part didn't take... This, uh, yeah, it's like this. Because, I mean, like, you... That I got right away. All right. What I didn't get right away is, I don't know if you've seen it on the islands, that there's a, like, message sign or a uh, treasure chest sign. Yep. You have to run around that using the cyclone feature. Yep. It unlocks rings, keys, heart pieces, oh. Amy heart pieces. Break those boxes to find springs. Yes, yeah, I saw that earlier. I mean, overall, I think it's actually a really decent game. Yeah, so far so good. Seems good. Controls are actually really good for a 3D Sonic game. I don't feel myself getting lost in it as well. That's what that's the beginning. Ah. So as of right now, there is no fast travel. I don't know if there is. I haven't gotten that far yet. I mean, with the level that the game is big, I'm assuming yeah. there is. Yeah. 
Yeah. I didn't like Sonic and Rose. Oh, he doesn't go through no. the ocean Just, and the yeah. floor? <laughs> <laughs> like he does in every other Sonic game. <laughs> Not much longer. So there is a DLC yeah. where you get the Sonic Adventure shoes. I oh. haven't seen it yet. Seems to work. Yeah. So to open up these, you need to have a certain amount of gears, and you have to fight the bosses to get the gears. Alright. Return to the digital dimension again. So it seems like you return to your Digital dimension. I'm assuming that's where he came from. I don't know. Well, no, because he got sucked into it. From getting there, right? Yeah. yeah. music is pretty dope though. Yeah. I was playing this, I was like, oh. So I thought that the fact that Sonic would be punching and kicking would be kind of dumb. But I actually enjoy it. I think if Smash Bros. didn't come out, I probably wouldn't like it as much. Yeah. Dimension. To upgrade your rings and speed, you have to collect like these little beings, and then you gotta bring them to. Right. So there's one that upgrades your attack and shield or defense. Then there's another one that you gotta collect a little, a little son or daughter, whatever the heck they are. Right. Little creatures are on the island that upgrade your uh, rings and ring capacity and speed capacity. Take the first the second stage. As many times as it takes. So I haven't got any S ranks yet. So most of them I just have uh, one E plus. One key left. Which I feel like is gonna force me to get the S rank to get enough keys to get more chaos on this. I 
first stage sucks. It's gonna be hard to get up. That's running on this one. How do you uh, dash? Yeah, like, uh, press the L button. L joystick down. When is the button? Oh, it's a dash. Hey, you go on this. That right there. Yeah, so it's uh, L2. R2. There's also a terrible button. Good save though. I tell you, Sonic's always been an innovator in having lyrics in the music. Mm. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna get S rank on this one. Yeah, I waste so much time. The other one is definitely I might be able to do. Ugh. Ah! Oof. That was, that was awful. Looks like we're in uh, Sky Sanctuary from Sonic 3. Yeah, and it also looks like, um, I don't know if it is Sky Sanctuary, but the level there in uh, Sonic All Stars Racing. Well, I got two at least. Oof. You got the D. 55. That's my fault. Right there. 55 seconds? I don't know how I'm going to do that. That's one. I just want to skip this. We don't know if you find folks. Nah, nah. <sighs> now, this is where I stopped it. That might play mm. through. So I kept going. I got to at least four Chaos Emeralds. I think now we might be able to get at least the first Chaos Emerald. Unless I don't have enough keys, then I'm not going to go. This is not, not so much like this, but my perfect game, Sonic game, the Chaos Emeralds is, is that at the end of Act 3 or something, you have to get, go into the boss level of that act. Go, it's like a temple. Then you have to fight a boss at the Chaos Emerald. Like a temple god or something, or a boss. Mm. That's my ideal Sonic one to get, but, you know, I know people... Like the old way. Honestly, since the movie series has taken off, I'm surprised there's no more elements from that. I know. They did out the uh, Marvel comic books. Oh, really? Yeah, now everyone thinks uh, everyone from a different universe is a variant. They Explain think to the audience the other show that we do here where where we talk about, well, you talk about things like this. So we, we do Friday Night Game Night. We do comic books, obviously. Uh -huh. um, it was this discussed? I know you just put out... We, we briefly talked about this, but like for me, it's... Uh, yeah, those Coco things. What the heck are they called? These things. Those you want to collect to upgrade your um, ring capacity and um, speed. Oh. The little hearts that in defense things that you collect for yourself, that's what you use to upgrade your, you know. Huh. And that later you get on then is how you get our first chaos emerald. Nice. And it's nice and easy, just how I like it. So you go into the cyberspace section to get ball keys, mm -hmm. and ball keys let you get the chaos emeralds. Yep. To unlock the, the digital cyber whatever, you have to get gear pieces. Those you can find fighting the big bosses, you can find them fighting the little mini bosses or the little, you know, henchmen, so to speak, robots. Hmm. Like that asshole. Oh, that's a boss? Yep. Oof. And 
And you need to unlock the map to know where you're going as well, so you can get more chaos and worlds and whatnot. And there it is. Yeah, yeah. So gotta... you're, you're off the Great Plateau. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's Sonic Frontiers. Um, what do you think? I like it so far. Um, I love the direction that this series is going mm. in. If it's going to do 3D, this is the way to do it. I agree with you. There are some things to fix. Not major. Not major. So, um, so far, if I were to grade this on my end, I'd give it a solid B yeah. right in the middle. Um, really nothing too bad yet, but also nothing to be like, wow, i, I got to play this game. It's competently made, mm. which is great for a 3D Sonic game. Controls are great. <laughs> yeah, like... It's just the little things in the middle, like trying all those little love hearts, I should, I'll call them, for Amy. I, I just love how this game is a lot more streamlined than other Sonic oh, games. Oh, yeah. Even some of the 2D games, a little too much pop and circumstances. Well, maybe not the original mm -hmm. Genesis ones, but like uh, for Mania or um, so the Sonic the Hedgehog 4, you yeah. episode 1 and 2, you remember those? The hell of a garbage. Uh, yeah, that was, that was a shame. And it could have been great. The level designs were great. It was just the controls. The homemade attack was right. awful. It was, just, it was bad. Don't F with, you know, what you know. But I'm interested to see how the rest of this game goes. I'm not going to lie. I ain't playing it right now. We got Gotham Knights on the mm -hmm. burner. But once I go through that, this will be next step in line. I did want to grab it. Mm -hmm. You know, because apparently right now it's hard to get. I went to, like, two stores and they were sold out. I had to drive uh, yeah, I mean, I, I didn't get mine on Tuesday. I, I reserved it from GameStop, but I didn't get it until Wednesday. Because once, on once there's news that there's an actual decent Sonic game out, you gotta lock that down. The graphics look amazing. I haven't played this good of a 3D Sonic game probably since... Adventure 2. Adventure 2. Yeah. Or I know Sonic... I heard Boy colors. Some people like colors. Uh, colors is good. I just can't stand the childish Tails voice and... Goofy yeah, that games. definitely seems like more of a child's kind of a... Uh... I like the more mature. So, what was the Sonic... I don't think it was in the Lost World. Maybe it was. But what's the Sonic that really had like a Mario Galaxy bent to it? Was it Lost World? There's been so many Sonic Either that or Unleashed. Oh, it wasn't Unleashed. Because Unleashed had the... Uh, Werehog. Werehog, yeah. That was, that was that gimmick. And well, th th so... Back then, there was the gimmick of that they used the Sonic. One night, he was a knight, had a sword. The one he was a musician. Yeah. They were good games. It's just gimmicky. Yeah. <laughs> the gimmick for Sonic should be nothing less than being a really fast rodent. And I feel like there's some gimmicky stuff in here, of you know. But what? But it doesn't go too far. Chill exactly. the Sonic, to be in Sonic, yeah. doing Sonic things, which is how it should go. But look how beautiful this game looks. I mean, I got it for the PS5 because I didn't want to get it for the Switch because I know it wouldn't look as good. But, like... Hey, if this game plays as good on the Switch... I mean, and, hey, down the road, maybe you will get it for the Switch. I probably will. Yeah. Let's say I'll, I might pick it up. Right, right. yeah, I mean... But, I, I, but this was a bleeding edge game, and you got the PS5. Yeah. I had to get it. Yeah, the PS5. Oh, yes, yeah, so, you know, gotta make it make it look damn good. But aside from the minor things... I mean, you guys know I love Sonic, so you may want to take my opinion for Grand Assault. Woody's a Mario guy, so it's his opinion that matters the most, I think, is... I wouldn't say that. Hey, I've always loved Sonic, you know. Competition drives. Say, had Sonic not come out, lit the fire on the Nintendo's ass, and who knows? You know, they may have gotten complacent. But I can say when a Sonic game sucks, Sonic 4 sucks. Sonic 4 did suck. Yeah. But, anyways, that's our review of Sonic Frontiers. I hope you enjoyed us playing it. Um, yeah, we're, we're going to continue playing it. Honestly, this might be the game that's being played while we record other episodes. Mm -hmm. Uh, but make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to leave comments. Let, leave some comments what you think about this game, if anyone's playing mm -hmm. it. Uh, maybe a little tips and stuff that we can yeah. use. Get rid of God of War, Rangok, Rangok, whatever. Ragnarok. Ragnarok, Rangok, because they call it. Yeah. Ragnarok. i you haven't picked that up yet. I'll get it after the holidays. Have you, played, have you played God of War 2019 yet? No, I haven't. I'm oh, about to say I'll borrow it. Uh, I have it somewhere. Well, yeah, I got it because it was hey, I'm just going to go ahead and say this. Go, any, every God of War... Except Ascension is friggin' awesome. Mm. And even Ascension's alright. Not terrible. Mm. Not great, but alright. But seriously, 1, 2, 3, the new one, uh, the two ones for PS... Even the two ones for PSP. Mm. Phenomenal games. So, I'm I sure... PSP. Yeah, I'm sure... Well, you can actually pick up the PSP ones for PS3, mm. the Origins Collection. I would recommend doing that because you get to use the, um, the sticks mm. to invade... 
it's a little harder on the PSP. Mm. Uh, but yeah, that's the new hotness coming out for PS5 as well right now. I almost forgot to mention, this changes from day to night as well. Oh, really? really? We got that far yet. Well, it seems very cloudy and overcasty. Mm. It's constantly raining on Chronos Island. Yeah. But yeah. anyways, I'm Mike. I'm Woody. And I'll see you guys we'll see you guys next next week. See ya. Oh yeah.